Thanks for helping me out, Duck, Toby, and Martha. Why, it's no trouble at all, Stanley. Christmas is just tomorrow away. <laughs> no problem, Stan the man. It'll be nice to rest our wheels for the Christmas party tomorrow. Oh, you're not going to come to the party at Knackford Sheds tonight? Very tempting, but I'll return to my shed and watch some good old Christmas films with the small engines. How about you, Toby? Henrietta and I shall be pulling the carolers from station to station tonight. As it was Flora's turn last year, most of the passengers have requested for me again. That would be lovely. Nothing like a good Christmas song to sing while the snow falls around. How about you, Martha? I might be going to the Christmas party tonight, depending how I'm feeling is all. Hey guys, stupid question, but how much would it cost to fly to the Arctic Circle? Uh, what? Why do you want to know that? I want to get to the North Pole to prove to Gordon that Santa is real. Thomas, how old are you? 99, but regardless of that, I just want to shove it in Gordon's face that Santa is real. And even if I don't find him, I'll just keep that the fat man and dress it up in red. Oh, this sounds like a Christmas adventure. May I come, Thomas? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? But you have to pay for your own plane ticket. Really, Stanley? Oh, I don't mind if we don't see Santa. It would just be a nice journey, you know? You like to join Martha? <laughs> Tempting, but no. I don't have a death wish like you boys. So you come in as well, Duck? Eh, uh, go on a journey to a frozen wasteland where you'll make an ass of yourself or stay at home and watch a really crappy Christmas film called The Christmas Tree? Screw it, I'm going with you guys. Oh, you'll see, Duck. Toby? You three are going to get yourselves in nothing but trouble, so I'll only join you till the airport. After that, you're on your own. Sounds good to me, oldie. Come on then, to the Soldor Airport. Alright, where is that prick? Um, who are you looking for, Thomas? I'm looking for Jeremy. Well, if he's not at his hangar, he'll most likely be doing some last-minute flights before Christmas. <sighs> Alright, I'm determined to wait here until he returns. Good luck with that. I'm going to get myself comfortable at the station. Save do. This is just becoming a little sad now. Yeah, though I'll have to leave you guys soon to get ready to pull the carol train in about two or three hours. That's fine, Toby. So, um, what's everyone giving to the others for Christmas? I didn't get anything too fancy. Oliver's got a new face mask ready for Halloween. Donald and Douglas have a conjoined Christmas jumper, in case the two of them bicker again. Toad's not really that fussy, so I thought to get him a light-up frog lamp. And the Smallies, some of them have been quite interested in this game called Minecraft. So I got them some of those Minecraft books to read upon. Oh, everybody's getting the same thing from me. Christmas fruitcake. Ooh. That's rather nice. I've already gotten some of my friends their gifts, but I'm still not sure what to get for Martha. I've been wanting to, well, perhaps meet her under the mistletoe, but I don't want to do it without getting her something she won't like, you know? Hmm, she is a tough one. Maybe ask Thomas for an idea. Speaking of which, here he comes now. Where the hell is that fly boy? It's been about three hours now. Hey Thomas, just wondering, but do you have any ideas on what I should get for Martha? Why are you asking me? Well, she's like your half-sister, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I know everything about her. Oh, um, well, does she like anything pink related? Stanley, if you're going to give her anything stereotypical pink, I suggest you brace yourself for a bitch slap. Oh, okay. But I don't know. What else can I get her? Ugh, fuck knows. Um, just get her, like, a peppermint or something. I, I think she likes peppermint. Peppermint? That could actually work. 
Perhaps once we get to the North Pole, I'll bring back one of those giant candy canes. Well, that's only if Jeremy arrives. Oh wait, I think I see him right there. Well, it's about time. Here we go. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, long time no see, buddy. Oh, hello, Thomas. Haven't seen you in a long time. What brings you here tonight? Well, Jeremy, I need to ask a favor of you, old buddy, old pal. And besides, you owe me from the time you told me about the summer storm. That's not exactly how that goes. But anything you owe me from telling you about said storm and allowing the picnic to happen inside my hangar. Okay, well, uh, yes, I, I, I do owe you two times. I mean, your controller could have looked at the weather forecast before setting up the picnic. Let's move on, we get off topic. Look, I need you to fly me to the North Pole. Can you handle that? Fly you to the North Pole, a private flight, hauling you through the falling snow. Do you know how insane that sounds? And do you even know how much a private flight is? Hey, come on. If eight reindeer and a sleigh can fly through the snow, why can't a big 111 make it, eh? The average amount of a private flight are about 4,000 to 8,000. Fucking hell. Okay, how does 10,000 sound for four tank engines? Get yourselves on the runway in one hour. I'm going to refuel. So, what did Jeremy say? He said he'll take us. We're going to the North Pole? Really? Yep, we'll be leaving in about half an hour. Wait, you paid for our tickets? Yep. How'd you get the money? I stole it from Gordon's truck of money. I don't think he'll notice. Well, I shall be leaving you three then. I am needed back to pull the cow loose as soon as I get back. Actually, Toby, you'll be coming with us. I paid for four of us to fly. So... Alright, is everybody ready? Oh god, why did I agree to this? I hope your wings don't snap off, Jeremy. This is so exciting. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh freak out! <laughs> Hang on, Toby! You piece of shit! The storm is getting worse out here. We can make it through, can't we, Jeremy? Don't talk to me, I'm trying to concentrate. Maybe it would be best if we return to Sodor. It's far too dangerous for us to fly like this. He's right! This is suicide! We can make it. The snow's bound to get more lighter the more north we go. What was that? Guys, I think my jet turbines are freezing up. We are going in for a crash landing. Oh, ah! shit! At least the storm isn't as violent from down here. Thomas, Duck, Toby, are you guys okay? Ugh, silly soft stuff. I hate it! I'm alright, Stanley. That is the last time I fly any of you. If you need to go places, stick to your rails. Oh, you can bet safety on that. Where's Toby? Oh my god, Toby's dead! Eh, he was bound to go eventually. We lost him somewhere back there. There he is! Don't worry, Toby! We're gonna get you out! <sighs> Thanks, guys. Now, what are we going to do? We'll continue onward to the North Pole. It's bound to be close by now. What? Wait, no, Thomas! We seriously need to think of a sensible idea on what to do now! Let's see. No one knows that we took this crazy flight and we're stuck in the middle of a snowstorm standing on frozen ice. Well, the only thing keeping us warm is our fireboxes. What a way to rub it in. One of us is freezing his wings off here. Ah, sorry, Jeremy. Looks like you're going to freeze to death. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, Toby, Stanley, keep Jeremy warm. Uh, snuggle up to him or something. Um, okay? Is this working? Anything to make me stop from freezing! Well, it's either that or we make a bonfire out of Toby. Do that and I won't hesitate to send you to an early grave, Thomas! Please don't. I thought so. Right now, guys, we have to keep moving to find the North Pole. The North Pole? Thomas, 
We are in the middle of frozen wasteland. I think we have worse things to worry about over that proving Santa is real. Thank you, you great western reaboo trash. I was about to say that even if we don't find the North Pole, we might be lucky to find one of those Arctic research stations. There they can rage about Sodor, and then the fat man can ground our asses or whatever. Sounds like the safest idea we've got so far. Well, anything other than sitting on our asses in the snow. Great. So, Jeremy, which way is north? Oh, that way is your best bet. You sure about that? I'm a plane. I should know which way is north, with or without a compass. Alright then. Duck, Toby, Stanley, you will change yourself to Jeremy and pull him. I'll lead the way. Hey! What makes you any different to us? I'm not a little piece of fan service who likes to keep interrupting! Now, let's go! Alright then! <sighs> I swear I'm gonna kill him as soon as we get home. How are you guys doing back there? Would be easier if you helped. Do you know where we are going? No, but Jeremy just said north, so I'm going north. Ah, fuck! Oh, hey guys, look! Look what I just found! <gasps> it's railway tracks! Tracks all the way this far north, but why? Wait, you guys don't suppose these could be the tracks the Polar Express uses? Oh my god, the Polar Express is real? But wait... Couldn't we have gotten him to take us to the North Pole instead? I don't think that would have really worked. One or all four of us would have had to lose the spirit of Christmas or some shit like that for him to deliver us. Uh, I don't really know. Well, at least we don't have to trudge through the snow anymore. But you guys still need to drag Jeremy as we don't have a flatbed or anything. Wait everyone, look over there. Do you see what I see? What is that? I don't know. It looks like... lights. And buildings. That is the North Pole. Come on, you balance. The sooner we're there, the sooner we'll be nice and warm. This is so exciting. Finally, we get to see the jolly old man in red! If it's all the same to you, I'm just going to be happy once we're all in a nice warm shed. Well, Thomas, apart from almost getting us killed, we're actually at the North Pole! See, Doc, you should always give the Thomas way a chance. <laughs> Don't push it. You know, for being the North Pole, it's quite deserted. Where is everyone? I don't know. Maybe they're still in their workshops, loading Santa sleigh. What the hell? Where is everyone? If I wanted to spend Christmas alone, I would stay in my shed. Huh? You guys hear something? Hey! You five! It sounds like it's coming from that tree over there. In here! Quick! Was that an elf? Quickly! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Shh! He'll see us! Is that Santa? No, no. That's not Santa. That's evil Santa. What? Let me explain. My name is Snowflake, Tinsel, Winterbreeze, Mistletoe, Caroling, Gingerbread, Frankincense... Okay, we get it. We don't need to hear your life story. Point taken. My name is really Snowflake Winterbreeze. But you can call me Snowflake. I'm one of the elves who help make toys for Santa. And you five are Thomas, Toby, Duck, Stanley, and Jeremy. Um, how did you know that? I looked at the naughty and nice list a few times. Ah, that makes sense. What happened here, Snowflake? Ah, yes. You see, just as December started, this intruder arrived in the North Pole, and he locked me, Santa, and all the other hopes away, and stole Santa's sleigh and reindeer. You know, the North Pole is a lot darker than I imagined it. Hey, Thomas, 
Can I have a word with you? Hey Thomas, I know you were excited to find the North Pole, but I think this place is a complete lost cause. Why don't we just get back on the rails and get the fuck out of here? Don't worry, Snowflake, we'll help you. You absolute bastard! Wait, now hold on, Thomas. Being suspended from Germany and almost getting buried in the snow is one thing, but now you want us to try and fight another fat guy in a suit just to save Christmas? But Toby, look at her. How can you say no to that face? <sighs> All right, fine then. What needs to be done? Yay! Thank you, guys. I promise when this is all over, all five of you should be on the nice list for at least five years. Depending on what you do, of course. <laughs> but anyway, follow me! Now just follow the tracks back where you came from. There should be a set of points leading downwards. Um, excuse me, Miss Snowflake, but do you have something that I could perhaps ride on? Oh, lucky for you! When we were all kidnapped, we didn't get to tidy the Christmas tree up, so this could help you. Now, just to get a crane... That's alright, we got this. Oh, that works. Now as you're the number one engine, I shall ride in your cab, Thomas. <laughs> you see, guys, I'm special. Now, just be careful here. The tracks are icy, and they can be quite steep. Right. Slow and steady, though. Just keep pushing back against each other. Oh, ah! Guys, I'm slipping! Oh. 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 Ah, easy. Well, lucky these buffers are here in this icy shed. I'm surprised the Polar Express can even get up and down that steep slope. Now that we're down here, you see each of these tunnels? Each one of them goes to different departments of the North Pole. The Naughty and Nice Department, the Reindeer Stables and Sleigh, the Workshop, the Elf Village, and the Snowy Forest. Now, Stanley, can you shove Jeremy into the Workshop, please? We need to fix him up. You know how to fix a plane? Uh, no. But I put together lots of plane kits. So how difficult can this be? As for you three, can you please stay here until I come back? Evil Santa doesn't know that any of us are down here, and we can't take any risks. We can do that? Sure thing, miss. Great! I should be back in two shakes with fiddle. Well, see you guys later. Well, this wasn't how I was expecting to spend Christmas, having to try and save it. Yeah, and Thomas? Thomas, where did you go? Hey guys, look what I found. Polar Express's coaches. Evil Santa must have him locked away on one of these lines somewhere. Thomas, I don't think it's a good idea to go wandering off when we can easily get caught. Yeah, but we can't just sit here and wait either. We all saw Evil Santa was landing, so we must be at the stable somewhere. Thomas is quite right. If we could find that evil Santa, maybe we could stop him before things get worse. Look, if you two want to go check it out, that's fine. But I'll be waiting right here. Right then, Toby. Come on then, Duck. What the? <sighs> I am such a hypocrite. <laughs> Tonight went off without a hitch, 
Excellent indeed. With the fat man and his little slaves locked away, no one will be able to stop me now. When Christmas Day arrives, everyone shall open their presents. And then BOOM! Finding a bomb and blowing up every household in the world! <laughs> now you reindeer rest up. You lads are my ticket out of here once I set off the final explosive to destroy this frozen wasteland forever! Who will greet? We're now trying to stop a world threat terrorist. How else can this be any more jolly? We must head back and tell the others what we just found out. Come on, duck. How's the damage, Snowflake? Ugh. It looks like the fuel froze inside Jeremy and his turbines will need to be heated up to melt the ice inside the engines. It's not the first time something like this happened to me. Though it is rare, but this sort of thing can take weeks to fix. Well, we'll need to make you nice and toasty to train the old fuel out of you. There. Now you should rest up, Jeremy. We'll come back to check on you as soon as we can. Oh, I won't move from here. Just be safe, you two. Thanks, Jeremy. Hopefully nothing else can go wrong. <laughs> hey guys, we're back and they're already gone. Ugh! Don't your friends ever listen to orders at home? No, not really. <sighs> son of a nutcracker. And where have you two been? I thought I told you it wasn't safe to wander about. Yeah, sorry about that. But we just found out what evil Santa has been plotting. Oh, what's that? He's delivered prisons all around the world that have bombs planted inside of them. And they're all set to go off on Christmas Day! That's awful! Did you two see where he went off to? No. All we know is that he left to set up the final bomb at the North Pole, and after that to fly off with the reindeer for his escape. Hang on a second. Where's Toby? He was here when we left? Toby? And he told us not to move from these shirts. Well, he can't have gone far, and knowing him, he'll be as safe as he can be. But what are we going to do about evil Santa? This does sound very dangerous. We'll have to somehow find and capture him. But perhaps if we somehow overwhelmed him... What are you thinking about, Snowflake? Well, we can't use the elves as they've been imprisoned deep in the workshop. But I have a few friends who can help us. Who are they? These are your friends that will help us? Penguins? Yep. These little guys are so loyal, you have no idea how dangerous they can be when threatened. Ah! That was right in my ear, dude! No offense, but I feel we're about to put these endangered species killed, Snowflake! Don't worry about that. They can put up one mean snowball fight. How's that really going to help us? Ah! So long as they hit evil Santa, I think we're all good. Yeah! Come on, friends! Let's find that evil a-hole! Seems to be getting closer over here. Hello? Is anyone on the other side? Yes? Hello, can you help me please? I need to get out and save Santa! Uh, are... are you... the Polar Express? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It is I. Are you able to get me out of this place? Yes, I think so. They have this door heavily locked down. Most likely to keep me stuck here. Can you find anything to get me out? Should be more than enough to blow this place sky high. Now, just to light a match. Hello? What's going on out there? Uh, I'm a little busy at the moment. Oh fuck! What's happened? Is something wrong? I um uh, um. I have an idea. But I need you to get as far away from the door as possible. 
I er right. What do you have planned? I'm going to blow it off. You what? <laughs> Hola? Hola Express! Are you okay? That was some pretty crazy thinking, Tram Engine. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're all right. Um, I'm Toby, by the way. Ah, the only Tram Engine on Solo. Thanks for getting me out of there. You're welcome, Polar Express. Um, you know where Santa is being kept. I do indeed. Follow me. What's this? What's going on here? Evil Santa? It's time to stop your villainous deeds! <laughs> Stupid elf! I've already won! All the presents have been delivered all over the globe! And when morning comes, there will be the sweet sound of explosions happening everywhere! We won't let you get away with this! Oh, really? You four and what army? This one. Come out, lads. <laughs> you think you're the only one with reinforcements? Wait, how did you get the snowmen to be on your side? I told them they can't be saved from global warming, melting them if the North Pole was destroyed. And you three steam engines are on top of their list to be stopped next! Huh. He sort of has a point about that. ATTACK! <laughs> right. This is where Santa is being held. What is this? The Frozen Dungeons. Why does a North Pole need a dungeon? What do you think we're supposed to use for Evil Santa? Good points. Ho ho ho! Is that you, Polar Express? It is Santa! Don't worry, Toby and I will get you out. Oh, please hurry! Christmas will be ruined and must be put right! Right. Now how are we supposed to get this door down? Stand back now! That ought to do it. Phew! Thank you, you two engines. Now quickly! We mustn't waste any time! Right you are, Chris Springle. Off aboard! How are we supposed to fight something that's not even solid? We can't just run them over. Ha! Wait! That's it! You three! Pump those pistons and melt them! They won't be able to regenerate when they turn into slush! Sounds like a plan. Come on, guys! He's making a run for it! After him! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry I'm a bit late, guys. But I found some muscle to help us. Santa Claus! Polar Express! I'm so glad you both are safe! We're fine. All thanks to Toby finding us. So, what's the situation, lads? Evil Santa's trying to make a getaway! You'll never catch me, with or without your old red guy! There's too many of them! Stand your ground, we can take them! Did someone order an emergency flight? Jeremy, you're okay! I feel good as new. Thank you, Snowflake. You worked wonders on my engine. <laughs> Thank you. As it was my first time working on a real one. Why, I didn't expect so many visitors at the North Pole. Thank you all for helping. Oh, um, Santa, quick question. I've been reasonably good this year. Could I get some murder weapons like the kids from Narnia? What? Absolutely not! Now quickly, we must get to the stables! So long, Nick! <laughs> oh no, you don't! <laughs> ah! Try to catch me now! <laughs> oh no! How are we supposed to get him now? 
Well, he's not the only one who can fly. Jeremy! On it. Jump on the board, Snowfly and Santa. Oh, dearie me! Right, let's melt the... Ow! Oh, guys, you okay? Alright, there's meant to be something useful in here. Oh, ho, ho. I knew you were holding out on me, fat man! Alright, you snowy bastards, time to send you back to hell! What happened? Ah! Oh, so Stanley. Thomas, what are you doing? This is definitely going in the album. I see him, guys. Hey, get off my sleigh! Fly as close, Jeremy. We're going to take control of the reindeer. Right. Do be careful, Snowflake. Toby, jump! Is everyone alright? The reindeers are okay, but where's Snowflake? I think I am. Hey Stanley, no need to worry about getting candy canes from Martha now. We've now got plenty. You shot me! Nah, you'll be fine. Oh, and sorry about your coaches, Paul Express. No need to worry about it, chaps. I'm sure the elves can easily fix them, once everything is put right. Do you think Toby, Santa, and the others are okay? Hey, I think I see something coming towards us. Toby, you're right! <laughs> I survived far worse, lads. Well, thank goodness. Everything is alright. What happened to evil Santa? He was going to make me fall off a cliff, so Toby pushed him over. Well, damn. So, would we all be on the naughty list for causing snowman genocide? Or, in Toby's case, murder? Oh, I'll allow it for this year. All four of you have been really useful engines. And you, Jeremy, a really useful plane. It was unexpected, but we're happy to help you, Santa Claus. St. Nick! Christmas is almost over, and the children still need their presents. Then I'll have to work twice as fast. Come on, everyone! Oh, wait, Santa, I just wanted to ask you, can I get a picture with you, please? Sorry, Thomas, but there's no time. And besides, it would ruin the magic of Christmas if people knew I was real. Ugh. All right, then. You fat ass. What was that? I, uh, said you had a nice ass. That's what I thought you said. Just remember, I see you when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. Don't worry, Thomas. I got you covered. Hey, thanks, Polar Express. Everything is all set, Santa. Thank you, Snowflake. Before I go, would you four engines like a ride back to the island of Sodor? Ride in Santa's sleigh? I mean, that is a nice fort, but wouldn't we be a bit too big? Don't worry, I can think of something. <laughs> well, I suppose I'll see you guys back home then. Yeah, thanks for flying us to this crazy adventure, Jeremy. We honestly couldn't have saved Christmas without you. Oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Alrighty, is everyone comfortable? Not really. Don't worry, it's only a short journey. Merry Christmas to you all! Perhaps, maybe one day you could come and visit us on Sodor? 
<laughs> we'll see. Ho, ho, ho. Let's get going, everyone. Go, Dasher! Go, Dancer! Prancer! Vixen! Comet! Cubit! Donner! Blitzen! Dash away! Dash away! <laughs> hey, thanks again for you for helping me. If it wasn't for you, Christmas would have been ruined. It's alright. We we're all just happy that it all worked out. But if you'd like to visit us on Sodor, you can always do so. We'll be quite welcoming for Santa's best elf. Aww, thank you guys. There we are, everyone. Sodor right ahead. Ah, <sighs> finally, back home. Do you think anyone would believe our crazy adventure? Most likely not. But at least we and Jeremy know about it. All right, we're high enough. Let's toss them! Wait, what? Wait, what? Ah! Don't mess with the claws! Merry Christmas! Ah, damn it! Ah. Whoa! Oh. Ah. Ow! Where did you guys come from? Oh, me, Thomas, Toby, and Duck went to the North Pole and saved Santa. No, you didn't. Yes, we did, Gordon. I have the picture right here. Thomas, aren't those presents from Evil Santa? Ah, you're right. Uh, quickly, you forget the mouth here. What us? Go oh, do it. What the fuck was that? I'll explain everything at the Christmas party. Oh, so that's where the decorations went off to. Honestly, we didn't even notice. Well, it's all about being together, and that's what really matters. I tried to warn you guys about Diesel. Percy, it's not all about you. Well, who wants presents? We had to wrestle these off an evil Santa. Are they gonna be okay? <laughs> I'm sure they're fine. And we got to see Santa. Here! Why is the building on fire? That's none of your concern. What matters is that we prove that Santa was real. Okay, okay, Thomas. If I said I believe in Santa, will you let it go? Yes. <sighs> I believe in Santa. Ha! I knew you'd see it my way, Gordon. Now, I got this for you. Oh, boys! Who wants to meet me under the mistletoe? Marvin, not now! Presents! Ah, oh, when I just put this new lipstick and eyeshadow on! Oh, ow. Hey, Martha! Merry Christmas! Uh, hey, Stanley! Uh, Merry Christmas to you, too! I, um... I wanted to give you this. They're, uh, peppermint. I hope you don't mind. Uh, oh, Stanley, th thank you. I I'm sorry, I, I haven't gotten anything for you. Oh, that's okay, really. I just hoped these would make you happy, you know? It's sweet, thank you. Where did you get these from? Nowhere fancy. Oh, we don't have to. It may be a Christmas tradition, but... Mwah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, you snowball. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Martha. Well, I'd best be getting back to my branch line. The others are probably wondering where I am. I and I better find Henrietta. Merry Christmas, Duck. Merry Christmas to you too, Toby. Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year!